Welcome back to Gotanium Tech Talks. I'm your host, Ashley McGlone, and we've got a good one for you today. As we continue the October cybersecurity awareness theme, we've got a sneak peek for our threat response labs coming up at the Converge Conference next month in November. You don't want to miss it. So, at Tanium, we have our best field people write the labs that you get to do hands-on during the event. And I have invited to the show today one of our threat response experts who has been working with customers in the field to design the labs that you want to do at Converge this year. So Converge this year is November 16th, 17th, and 18th. And I know I've told you this the last couple of shows, but make sure if, if you're not already registered, you need to get registered today because these labs, really, they are filling up fast. And we don't want anybody crying at the door because they can't get in, all right? So go ahead, get signed up. Here's the link, bit.ly slash Tanium Converge. Go ahead and get out there, get signed up so that you can participate in these labs. So today with me on the show, I have Russ, who's writing the labs that you're going to be using. Russ, introduce yourself. Hi, Ashley. Big fan of the show. Happy to be here in Gotanium. Uh, my name is Russ, and I lead a team of our professional services engineers um, here in what we call the Enterprise Services Organization at Tanium. Fantastic. How long have you been with Tanium, Russ? I've been with Tanium a couple of years now, so I'm, I'm, you know, I don't feel like a veteran yet, but yeah, I'm coming up on three years. Oh, fantastic. So how many converges does this make for you? Well, this it's kind of interesting here. This will actually be my third converge um, that'll be involved in hands-on labs. Uh, so I'm a bit of a veteran there too. I started right away in year one and I've just kept that train going. Fantastic. I had a similar experience just a year ahead of you. I've got my Converge 18 t-shirt on today, but there were two before me. So this is a great tradition. We keep getting better and better every year. So before we get into the labs, you were telling me that you spoke at a conference recently. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah, that was the Wisconsin Governor's Cybersecurity Summit. Um, so I was there, like I, I usually speak at quite a few local conferences there. And the topic was on how to find and retain cybersecurity professionals like myself, since I'm a little bit of a unicorn, I've got tons of certs. I've worked at a lot of different companies. Uh, that's part of why I'm here at Tanium, I'm able to make a, a bigger and better change on the world. Uh, so there, I was really able to help share the insights that I have as a cybersecurity professional um, and help other organizations you know, protect uh, their companies and their customers from the threats that are out there today. As we're talking about Cybersecurity Awareness Month, I know a lot of people are talking about education and bringing up the field, getting more people involved. And speaking of which, I know uh, you and I started a little earlier in life, and I've got to ask, what is that on the desk behind you? I think I know what that is. Yeah, that, that's a Packard Bell legend I got here behind me. And yes, that's the real thing. That's not emulated or anything like that. It's running wow. the main screensaver with the old customizations I used to do as a kid. Man, that's fantastic. I used to have one of those exact same Packard Bells, the microphone, the curved speakers, lots of good memories. I even started my kids on that Packard Bell. So it's fantastic, man. That brings back a lot of warm, fuzzy memories for me. Well, we're not here to talk about Packard Bells today. Let's, let's talk about something new. So as we get started, a trivia question for you. You're a Tanium Pro now. What is your favorite sensor in Tanium? Yeah, th th man, that's such a hard question because there's so many of them. I like to go back to basics. My favorite sensor um, is actually here. I'll, I'll show you in, in our lab here exactly okay. which one it is. So I'll share my I'll pop up and share my screen a little bit. So I'm actually logged into the lab here. And my favorite one is actually the running processes. So I'll pull it up, running processes. And I actually like to add the MD5 hash to it as well. So I know which ones are unique. This one's kind of an old school one. And this is one because I think you can branch off so far from here into other questions around like which processes are using a lot of CPU. And as these results come in here, we're going to see some of these become common and other ones that aren't. So that's kind of an old school one, a real basic sensor that I can build on. Um, but I just like the, the ability to tell me which ones are unique and how quickly that's able to come back here and tell me, you know, which ones are on one system, two systems, kind of those nagling ones that aren't very common. So you see here, most of them, I've only got about four systems in my lab. Most of them have three, but I've got some kind of daily ones here that are a little more rare. 
That's my favorite sensor. And that MD5 hash is actually the hash of the executable that's running that process. It's fantastic for doing some quick on the fly hunting when you've got those hash reports coming in. So without further ado, let's get into the Converge Labs. I know you've been working hard, not just you, a whole team of you and your peers. I got to crash one of their working sessions the other day and to see what it's like behind the scenes of writing a Converge Lab. So I know you have a lot coming up here at Converge. Tell us just an overview of how you first started to build these labs and where you got the ideas for them. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's really exciting to us because from our point of view, we were just taking the feedback the customers were giving us of what they cared about in Tanium, and we put that together through documentation processes, and now we put that together actually in these labs. So what we're covering in this lab is actually what our customer told us is important, and everybody on the team worked hands-on with multiple customers uh, throughout the country here in the United States on threat response, took that feedback together, built up these labs really on, on what they've given us. And we're actually giving a lot of this away here. Uh, we've got some downloadable materials as part of these labs as well. You can take what we've shown you into your organization uh, and take a lot of these best practices out. And this also comes from my background as a threat response to me, the things that I saw customers struggling with. We're really just trying to help customers, you know, see what they can do with threat response, get over those humps of things that they struggle with and, and just continue to protect the organization in the best way possible with using Tanium. That's fantastic. Now, last week we had Melissa on the show and she talked about the Hunt the Stank lab that she's working on. What are the titles of your labs that folks need to look for when they sign up for Converge? Yeah. So what the title of our series that we're doing here is how the best security teams get better, taking these best practices and packaging them up. So our first lab is actually about just taking a step back and analyzing threat response and what you're using and what you're not using. And I put some tips in there on things that we commonly see in the field of look here for, make sure that this is configured properly according to best practices. These are some common hiccups that we see. These are some easy ways to get quick value because the last thing we want to have to someone is where they run into an incident and they're like, oh, we never configured that part. Um, so now we got to do that, you know, on the fly. It really helps the teams you know, be prepared for, you know, the, the next incident that comes around the corner so that they know they have threat response fully prepped and ready to go. They've got evidence. It goes right where it needs to go. So that's our first lab. Uh, after that, we go into optimizing some of the things that we found. And then we go into some other things that are a little more advanced, such as setting up stream. We actually have Splunk set up and have you put stream those events right to Splunk and set up dashboards in there. And finally, at the very end, and this is the probably the most exciting lab, is we actually do an attack simulation using the Caldera platform. And then on the flip side, we go into Tanium, we take a look at some dashboards and see what where that attack hit. And we can actually see in our dashboards kind of light up and go, oh, I saw that it hit here. Boom, right there, it's on the dashboard. I can investigate it. In addition, because we have threat response on these systems as well, that trips those alerts. So you can investigate it there and actually verify how the attack went through and exactly how it progressed uh, through the system. And actually here, I'm happy to pull up if you're interested and take a look at just a little snapshot of the Caldera operation that we that we have going on, actually attacking our Tanium machines. Yeah, I'm really eager to see that, Russ, because the way you were teasing this out to me as we were talking about doing this show, it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. And that's one of the fantastic things about Converge is you get to have hands on with instructors who are in the field, like you said, with this experience, and they're hearing from customers all the time and they know what customers need like yourself. So because it's the voice of the customer coming through these labs as it is with everything else at Tanium. So Russ, show us uh, a preview here of what people will get to do in this lab. Yeah, I'll, I'd love to jump in here. So what I have up on the screen right now is actually a Caldera operation. So we can see one here uh, that, that's actually finished um, operating here, but I can start a new one and show you how we actually utilize this platform to, to simulate an active attack. Basically what we do in our lab, and this is kind of a preview, is we set these options here for how we want the attack to go forward. And then we kick that off. This actually does a live attack on the Tanium systems here. So we've got the Tanium agents out there watching everything that's going on. We're actually using pretty much out of the box signal Intel. So we're not doing anything you know, from our point of view that that's, that's too tricky here, but this actually allows you to verify that the defenses are working exactly how you expect them to. 
We have threat hunting dashboards that show just abnormal behavior from a visual perspective. And then, of course, we have threat response that's able to trip alerts and have signals that fire. And from those signals, you can connect to these systems and investigate exactly what happened. So all this activity here where it's looking for valuable files, zipping them up, exfiltrating them back, you can verify all these operations right inside of threat response by connecting to a live machine. And this is the kind of the capstone of our fourth lab that shows you how this works. And we've seen a lot of other organizations such as uh, Black Hills InfoSec really focus on Caldera as a platform for attack simulation. And this is also what I see with some of our most uh, capable kind of customers out there who are really trying to utilize everything they can. They say, I've got Tanium out there. This shows me that it's all working exactly how I expect it to. So in the spirit of Cybersecurity Month, for those who have not heard of Caldera before, can you explain a little bit about what that tool is and where they could find it and why they would use it? Yeah, uh, Caldera is a fantastic platform out there. Um, it's, it's actually put together by uh, the MITRE group and they have some other free tools as well. They're very, very well known if you've had a, heard of attack. So those famous kind of techniques out there that you see a lot of threat actors use, they also have a full tracking board of all the threat actors and the techniques they use. So basically go to their website and they'll redirect you over to GitHub where you can download and run this yourself. This is open code. You could take exactly what we're doing here and run it in your organization right after Converge. Well, that's fantastic. So can we flip now and show us what this looks like inside of threat response once those attack simulations have run? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do a preview here. I don't want to show too much of the lab, but I'll give us a little okay. preview of what it looks like. So, yeah, so on here going into Tanium, we can actually see the other side of this attack. So this is kind of a little preview of what you're going to see during the hands-on lab. But if I actually jump in here and go into threat response, we're actually going to see several signals fire. And these signals here, we haven't spent a lot of time tuning these. These are pretty much out of the box straight from our feed. We've actually seen several attacks here on our Windows 2019, we've got a one and we've got a two here. You can see here, all this activity here, all these alerts were actually triggered by that attack that I just launched. So Russ, that's really interesting that we can actually see what's happening from the test in the threat response live. And I, I don't wanna give away too many spoilers, but can you show us what one of these processes looks like and what some of the intel that we are able to find? Yeah, yeah. Exactly here, This we try to emulate this just like a real incident. So we can actually pull one of these up here and actually see exactly what Caldera was doing here. So I'm gonna pull up one alert here. And actually, if I scroll down to kind of the interesting part, which was really the command line, we can see here it, where it's using PowerShell and all of this here, this was all done by Caldera. So we can actually verify in Caldera how this attack was configured and then go into the other side here and actually see in threat response watch it, catch it. You can actually see here the parent process was something that we put in there called esos.exe. And this is the actual command line when it executed. So this puts it all together in a nice package for you. And now you, you get to pay both the red team and the blue team and put that together to be more effective in actually verifying that everything is working as expected. That's so helpful because literally just this week, I was on the phone with a customer who was asking about seeing PowerShell activity, and we can see it right here on the screen. We know there's different depths and levels of PowerShell activity as well, but it's fantastic to see. Here's one example of what we'll be able to find in the lab. So as we head towards wrapping up the episode here, Russ, what else can people expect? You said you know, there's four segments to this lab. What else can people expect to see? Yeah. Uh, so due to a lot of popular demand, we've actually put in some of our most common activities that we do to work on threat response and get the profile set up and get your Intel tuning set up uh, so that you can spend your time focusing on real alerts and getting all those false positives out of the way. Uh, that's what we do. Actually, we do after a health assessment. So that's lab two. And then lab three, which is another very common request, which is to set up stream. Stream is our high fidelity component of threat response. It takes those events that we're seeing on the endpoint that we put into our database there. Uh, but we can also take those events and stream all that out to Splunk. And we have that set up in the lab so that now we walk you through setting up a stream connection and then getting those events into Splunk, and then you log into Splunk and see all those populate. And that's just, you know, just a small sample of what we have here, as well as the take-home content. 
Uh, we take our threat hunting dashboards, give those to you free. You can download those and use those in your organization right after it converges over. Um, in addition, the assessment that we do, we want you to do that assessment too. So we give you that assessment template You can take that back and say, I want to see really where we could do better in threat response. And at the very end here, we also have um, a summary of, of analyzing your capabilities because we've gotten asked like, what are we missing here? What could my team uh, be focusing on to be more effective using Tanium and threat response? So we actually have a list here of capabilities they can use and either analyze yourself and what you think you're capable of doing with Tanium and maybe some other skill sets you could learn, or you can take this gift to your team and say, I want everyone to have these essential capabilities when they use threat response, be able to check these off. We've got a nice checklist for you to take home as well. We love checklists, don't we? That makes sure I didn't miss something, right? Because we're all working in these complicated roles with lots of technology at our fingertips, lots of configuration points, and those checklists keep us on task. And so this is a free health check for your threat response configuration, making sure, like you said, that you're not going to miss something. We know when the chips are down and you really need that information, make sure that it was configured, right? Because you can't catch it unless you had it set up right at the beginning. So this is fantastic for us. Thank you. And so I'll give people now the link. Where can I go to sign up for these labs? Let me put my screen up here and I'll show you. So you want to go to bit.ly slash Tanium Converge. And that's where you can sign up and take home these labs, all these resources that you'll get to take home for free with part of these uh, downloadable, clearly, because we're not going to have handouts in the room this year, that you'll have these downloadable resources that you can put to work the very same day in your own Tanium environment. So go out there, sign up. And Russ, tell us again, what's the name of that uh, lab series? The name of this lab series is how our best security teams get better with Tanium. Fantastic. How our best security teams get better with Tanium. So let's take a look at some takeaways here then for the episode. So you get to interact at Converge with security pros who are actively in the community speaking at conferences. These are the people that are mentoring the next generation and they're doing it through Tanium, helping you, giving you these amazing tools to do that. And this is going to be the best Converge ever uh, Russ was telling me as we were prepping for the show that there's some new features even that you're going to get to see, perhaps even maybe something we're not ready to announce quite yet, but should be there when uh, Converge happens. We're always aiming for Converge to release new things, and so look for some special announcements there. And also, don't forget the, the Capture the Flag event, the CTF on day one. That's one of our most popular activities of the whole week. And this year we have a whole day for it. So you don't have to miss the other tracks. And we're going to have a special live pre-converged live show. And on the last day, we're going to present the winners with their prizes for the capture of the flag event. And this year it's based on real world ransomware scenarios. So you don't want to miss that. So sign up today, bit.ly slash Tanium Converge. And also Here's a link for your Cybersecurity Awareness Month uh, resources from CISA themselves, the place where we get all these things. Russ, any last comments as we wrap up the show today? Yeah, what I would say uh, for this year's Converge, I'm more excited than ever. I'd say if you're interested in some of the new functionality that Tanium's coming out with, we just released the risk module that helps you see the risk in your environment and helps you get better, go register for Converge. But I would say you want to learn from professionals in the field, exactly how they're protecting organizations like we do every day, hands-on here at Enterprise Services, you need to register for Converge. And the last thing I'll say as a cybersecurity professional, um, you know, I'm a little, <laughs> a little preferential to Tanium here, but if you want to learn more about the best tool in the industry to learn about who, what, when, why, and where, go register for Converge. Let us show you what we can do and how you can protect your org. You won't regret it. Register today. That's pretty clear, Russ. Thank you for that exuberant energy helping us promote Converge this year. We do this every year. If you're new to Tanium, this is our annual user conference. We do it every year in November, and we really hope to see you there. Russ, thank you for the passion that you brought to the show today. And that just typifies how many of our field engineers have so much passion for what we do because we see how it really does help because 
everyday companies are in the headlines and these labs will help you stay out of those headlines, right? Make sure your environment is in tip top shape and ready to defend and investigate when those things break through. So thank you, Russ, for being a guest on the show today. And until next time, go Tanium.